Vancouver. Why are we in Vancouver? We are here to get married. Something that really sold me on Vancouver is the fact that you have the city at your back so you're not feeling too rural, but you can also do like a quarter turn one direction and you have ocean views and that's all me. Then you take one more quarter turn and you have nothing but snow-capped mountains and that's all him. My family has always done skiing trips to Tahoe or Mammoth, Big Bear, and I've always been into the cold. So one thing I told him when we were going to get married is that I want a winter wedding. So, and we figured out, we did our whole trip up to Canada, so it worked out for me. You know, how people who usually have destination weddings are very, very small. It's, you know, maybe 30, 40 people, and we had 77 people at the end of the day. And that is a pretty surreal feeling to know you are so loved that all of these people will travel all of this way in these conditions they don't like to see you and be with you and to be part of this day. because I was thinking for a couple of shots, a couple of drinks, but you know what, we'll keep it nice and short. First of all, I would like to welcome everybody from far, from near, to our daughter and my new son-in-law's wedding. Like everybody said, Jessica and as well as all the Barty girls, they're very determined and strong. We've come a long way. Welcome to the family. Yeah. Now, if, if I can have the help of anybody who knows the school song, you can come up here and join me if you want. Time has finally come. You guys are finally married. <laughs> Jess, you are now officially my sister-in-law, although you've been a sister for many years. Uh, and Jess, my first impression was you, of you was at first you were dating my brother and he was never home anymore. So I'm thinking, all right, where's my brother going? Where is he? And then when he finally brought you home, I'm like, hmm. Guess that makes sense. 
But after how happy I see you guys together and how happy you made my brother, I realized I had gained another sister. I've never known either of them apart, and I couldn't even begin to see it that way. Without Nate, Jess would continue to second guess every important and silly decision for the rest of her life, sleeping lonely at night with her heating pad, weighted blanket, sleep mask, and 47 other blankets, still feeling cold. And without Jess, Nate would have to live off cereal and top ramen, unless Kevin was visiting, of course. But at least he'd still have Kaya. <laughs> In the last sweet mile, first crack of thunder, the heavenly rain, all that gets taken, and all that remains. These things aren't a given, they're a gift to behold, like the first sip of whiskey and dancing real slow. you life is always fun happy and interesting although you drive me absolutely insane every single day with you proves to me that there is magic in the world it makes me believe that one day tony stark will live again they'll find the monster in lake tahoe and the car door will be open on the first pole i promise to always be there and hug you when you need to relax and to be your stable rock for when life gets crazy i like to joke that you are the perfect first husband but if I'm being honest, you're far more magical than every fictional boyfriend I've ever played. Try hold on to Yeah. 
Clink your glasses. That means the bride and the groom should stand on the chairs and kiss. Stomping your feet, and they have to kiss under the table. So the last one, that whenever Jessica leaves the room, all the women are allowed to kiss Nathan. Tillykke med bryllupet. Congratulations on the wedding. Next up, we have the fun. Ya callé, lo pienso en ti 